find the possible values of x given that the matrix x plus 8, 8, 6, x is a singular matrix. Now a singular matrix is a matrix without an inverse, that is the determinant is 0. So from that fact, we are going to form an equation. We are going to determine the determinant of this matrix, which is obtained by multiplying the elements of the leading diagonal. Uh, we have x times x plus 8, that is x times x plus 8. And then you subtract the product of the elements in the second diagonal. So we have the elements 6 and 8 multiplied, and that is 48. And then this should give us 0, because the determinant is 0. Opening the brackets here, we'll have x squared plus 8x, then minus 48 is equal to 0. So here we have a quadratic equation to solve, and that means the solutions to these quadratic equations should give us the possible values of x that satisfy this as a singular matrix. So in order to solve this, I'm going to use the factor method. We are going to look at the product of two numbers such that it should be equal to the coefficient of x squared multiplied by negative 48, that is the constant term here, which is negative 48, that is 1 times negative 48. Remember here we have 1x squared, so that 1 times negative 48. And then the sum of the two numbers should be equal to the coefficient of x, which is 8. So the two numbers or factors are, now this is how we are going to determine, we are going to factorize this 48, so we have 48 is equal to 1 times 48, 2 times, 2 times 24, sorry, 3 times 16, 4 times 12, then we have 6 times 8, and I think this should give us all the factors of 48, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, and 48. So we're going to look for a pair that will satisfy this condition here. So the pair definitely is 4 and 12. If we make 4 negative, then we'll have negative 4 times 12 being negative 48. And if we add them, we also get 8. So we are going to have negative 4 and 12. So this will take up the place of 8x so that we have x squared minus 4x, that is in place of 8x, and then we also add plus 12x, and then minus 48. This is 0. So this should help us factorize by grouping. So this first part paired, and this second part also paired. So here the common factor is x, then into x minus 4, plus here the common factor is 12 into x minus 4, and then we have 0. This means x minus 4 is common, we bring it out, and then x plus 12 in the second bracket, that is equal to 0. This first bracket here can be equated to 0 or the second bracket equated to 0. So if we equate the first bracket to 0, that is x minus 4 is 0, then we get the value of x as positive 4. And if we equate x plus 12 to 0, we will get the value of x as negative 12. And thus, we have determined the possible values of x just as had been desired in the equation. Now with this, we mark the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. Bye.